Time to tackle the fan hub because the bearing that holds the uh, support where the uh, well electrical current goes in to activate it uh, has ceased. I tried uh, replacing that connector and it held up at the test start but quickly pulled apart things so that was broken and it was quite expensive that electric connector thing so here we're doing it a bit differently but more on that later if we realized uh, for access removing the uh, pipe from the intercooler to the intake and then the AC compressor would be well worth it and I was gonna replace all the belts now also when I had uh, good access it has been squealing a little on one of the generators and the AC belt is impossible to replace because it's so small without uh, undoing the fan so now now that it comes out it's a good time to replace it but it's six bolts holding the fan to the uh, coupling the uh, viscosity uh, uh, hub that adjusts the speed so you have to do all the bolts it's tight access there it wasn't that bad but and once you do, do that you can kind of, kind of lift the uh, fan a little back towards the engine and be able to lift the hub out had gotten hold of a used unit uh, but uh, was gonna look at reusing i had two of these broken connectors now and we could do a little exploratory surgery on one of them uh, cutting it apart and seeing what's hidden inside and what can be done so one was opened up and stripped of the epoxy that's in there or silicone or whatever it is to see see where things are and what area areas are used so then on the one we're saving we just cut the top off and uh, trimmed away enough to expose the the uh, leads where we could solder in some uh, new uh, cables it uses uh, these uh, Deutsch connectors so uh, one, one of them was added and we had uh, uh, figured out it was a little bit of cable left on one of them so it was possible to figure out what was uh, positive and negative so new cable soldered in place uh, and then uh, the one we cut apart uh, we could dissect and see where we could drill and made it make a new attachment point uh, the belts here in the front it's hard to get any good video on doing the uh, the tensioners and so on here it was possible to to unhook the well the old belts were easy getting the new ones in place was harder yeah, and we had some different work getting a heat shield off a plate in an old wood stove and it refused a bunch it ended up required requiring drilling but other things happen had to be dismantled quite a lot to fit some new uh, wearable details in that wood fireplace back to the fan hub uh, I simply drilled a hole in an area that was empty uh, to to have as a mounting point for a new plastic lip that holds it in place. Some silicone to set things up and then bolted the new lip or attachment point to stop it from rotating in place. Some cover plate for the big excavator was that had been mangled at some point. We tried to kind of straighten out in different ways. More on that in the video about the excavator. I finally received the seal for the uh, swing motor, so something should be coming up soon. Looking at adding a counter to the small excavator, if doing more. Uh, uh, preparing ground for new plants to be able to keep track of how many plants needs to be ordered back to the fan again some cleaning now that it was good access
quite a bit of build up in those holes and here on the back of this uh, where the crankshaft comes out or and the belt is it's some kind of coupling there and it's kind of a recess in behind it that was kind of full of muck so compressed air uh, bottle brush and then it's kind of one area to get access so the any was turned over a little to to be able to clean it all the way around to reduce all of that so clean enough that I was happy new belts were installed tensioned up and I found here that there is kind of a, a log that this tension should go into more on that in the end of the video because I realized I hadn't thought about that on the other machine and it wasn't in the correct log here the tensioning rod here was at least not crooked like on the harvester so it was just a matter of tightening things up to a good tension and then the hub needed to go back in had my dad around for an extra set of hands this would be oh. tricky to do if you're on your own being able to get the bolts to start threading in uh, on the engine side they had these fancy Nordlock wash washers on them so I replaced them with a fresh set would be a bad day if this disconnects from the engine and then some Loctite on the other bolts that holds the plastic hub in place and then fitting that connector and put it in place and trim that plastic to a suitable length to be bolted onto the little tab where where it sits hard had to tap them to get a little bit of tension because it was wanted to spin otherwise tightening up the connector and it's from a top view hard to get video and then new belt for the AC remember to hook that onto the its position before putting the fan hub in place or you won't be able to get it in place after the fan hu fan and hub is uh, connected or bolted in place uh, it needed to be a little further in so I had to readjust the angle on the hoses going from it I was a little worried undoing one could be kind of pulled and changed the other one I had to loosen a little and twist a few degrees and then intake pipe and it was time to start it and at first it refused to kind of go down in RPM and had a little reflective strip and used the RPM meters that I purchased for the sawmill that gets more use now so it was it uh, we left it running for at least 15 minutes and it never went down the speed so I got a little worried that something wasn't working did test the harvester also that one didn't go down either so I was a little stumped and because of that I think it's has been working because I've heard it start here and there uh, move one of the indicator lights I've used for the heating previously to see what orders the computer brains give the different parts so and I move things around because here a positive was on the other pin I thought turned out that it was hooked up that the black lead is the positive for this light I'm not sure why but took a little figuring out training t testing force feeding the fan hub to ensure that uh, it gets power all the time with two batteries here is the generator tensioner or belt tensioner you can see that lug at the end is uh, should be like this uh, so I figured that out while changing the belt on the forwarder and had messed that up on the harvester back to forwarder gave it a handful of or uh, foot full of throttle a couple of times handful that when you're on the motorcycle now it's a foot full 
Uh, and that is seemed to lo have loosened that fan coupling because now it's down to the, the half speed. Uh, fire suppression brain up here was removed because next video that comes around this machine will include some welding.